everyone. What's up, everybody? Hey, everyone. Gonna eat this nasty. What is this? What's up, everybody? It's a juggle. Thug Rose Nama Hunes is one of the most beloved and inspirational fighters in the UFC today. In lieu of her spectacular comeback, let's take a look at the UFC strawweight champ's lifestyle. Let's get straight into it. Number 5. Her endorsements. Starting off with the moolah, there's no doubt that the UFC underpays fighters, even main eventers such as Rose. But with a winning record and a huge fan following, she has picked up numerous individual sponsorship deals. The Reebok deal is responsible for fighters being poorly paid, as it doesn't allow individual sponsors on their gear. However, Rose's MMA exploits have landed her a much better individual deal with the apparel company. Although the UFC has its Reebok sponsorship for all the fighters, Nama Hunes has her her own agreement with Reebok. This puts her in an exclusive group with fighters such as Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey, Paige Van Zandt, Chris Weidman, and Rose's mortal enemy, Johanna Yedrydrich. Rose has been featured by Reebok and she promotes their products extensively on her social media. Another clothing apparel brand that endorses her is RVCA Sport, which makes premium level athletic, gym workout gear and accessories. Rose has also promoted Onyx Labs gear, specifically their gloves and shin guards. Charlotte's Web CBD is a hemp extract and is another partner of Rose. Like most fighters, she's affiliated with betting as well. You can find Rose predicting winners to promote My Bookie MMA, which is one of the few sports books on the rise. Hey everybody, my picks for tonight's fights are I'm going to go with uh, Dominic Reyes, Cub Swanson, and Luke Boomy. I really like their styles and I think it's going to be a good night of fights. So use my promo code THUGROSE and go to mybookie.ag to make your bets. However, she picked Dominic Rise to beat Jerry Projatska. So you're recommended to be careful when taking betting advice from her. Rose extensively promotes the mortgage company Guaranteed Rate, which is an equal housing lender that believes in positivity. Ergo, they aren't as ruthless as most of their peers, and this is an endorsement that Rose shares with Dustin Poirier. Because when you decide to believe, you will. Rose is also part of Monster Energy's elite UFC fighters list, which also puts her at a level of exclusivity, as the energy drinks maker is a UFC sponsor. Stick around for two cool facts about Rose. Ooh, that's really good. That's really Number four, her hobbies. You all see the Tony's the kind of guy memes, while Rose is the kind of girl that is one with herself. She's also well known for keeping busy and working on her skills. Apart from spending her time training and sparring to maintain her straw weight supremacy, she has a collection of unique hobbies. She has mad piano skills, which she gained while growing up. This is unsurprising as her mother was a pianist trained at the Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theater. She taught Rose the piano in an effort to keep her off the streets. The first gist that mainstream fans got to see of her musical talents was when she was set to face Joanna in a rematch. Rose was shown playing the instrument in the promo video for UFC 223, and the most recent clip of her piano performance was uploaded by ESPN. She has put up many videos of her playing on her YouTube channel and has also shown off her organ playing alongside her mother. Rose says that she listens to a diverse playlist of classical music for her workouts. Rose is also an avid farmer, as she can often be seen working on her community plots. She has advocated the growing of one's own food and is known to have planted and harvested carrots and radishes. Rose also considers the difficult nature of readying the soil by plowing and raking to be part of her training regimen for endurance and strength. She declared early on that she'd like to do farming full-time once she hangs up her gloves. It's always been my childhood dream to become a farmer one day and I love fighting and that's just what I do I've been doing it since I was five years old so you know fighting is all about destroying and conquering and you know being the best and I'm gonna you know beat up my opponent and then gardening is the opposite you think about nurturing and trying to keep things alive and so yeah it's cool Gotta have both. She also enjoys archery and traveling. More on the latter later in the video. Here are two facts about Rose that you might not have known. Fact number one, she got her nickname on the mean streets of Milwaukee. Rose is a killer fighter that shaved her hair just because it got into the way of her fighting. But her thug moniker stems from the time that she used to hang out with the kids in her crime-infested neighborhood. 
It was a dangerous place to be, but Rose, despite her smaller size, still kept her iconic, intense demeanor that scared people off. This led to her friends calling her thug. Rose still maintains all of the mannerisms that she picked up on the streets as they're a vital part of her no-nonsense personality. Let's get back to her lifestyle. Number 3. Her struggle with mental health It is commendable that mental health awareness is more important than ever these days. Many organizations and celebrities have called on for treating mental health disorders better. Rose is someone who has been on both sides of the spectrum as she's talked about mental health as she's experienced a lot of trauma. It is one of the reasons why everyone is so inspired by her. She is someone who is no stranger to having her mental peace disturbed, as she is the daughter of Lithuanian refugees that fled their Soviet-occupied country. As mentioned before, Nama Hunes grew up in a tough neighborhood in Milwaukee. She had to grow up in a place where she was a witness to violence from a very young age. Her father, Artura, suffered from schizophrenia and left her family when Rose was still young. Hence, her mother had to support the family and she worked her fingers to the bone while her older brother was rarely home. Her dad passed away in Germany in 2008 when Rose was just 16 years old. She is close to her grandparents and lost her grandfather in 2020. Her fiancé, Pat Berry, has had his own set of demons that, in his words, have set Rose back. Rose was also caught in the crossfire between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov's rivalry. <laughs> She was present in the fighter bus for UFC 223, the same bus that was attacked by Conor McGregor with a dolly. These instances have led to the number one strawweight struggling with a lot more than just the mental strength required to fight. They're obviously not directly after me, but I'm just caught in this scenario, so I don't know. Um, my imagination goes crazy <laughs> and just through all the things that I've been through um, in the past, I know that anybody could have a gun or a knife or you know we don't we don't know and so my my i jumped to the negative pretty quickly and uh so yeah there was a lot of it was a lot of thoughts going into this fight for recent fights she has even been accompanied by mishka an emotional support dog to help her deal with issues relating to her mental struggles rose who has overcome these problems has stated that martial arts have saved her life and when she became a star joanna for the first time she said in her post-fight interview that these belts don't matter just be a good person you know just the rest of the world too i think that there's a lot of um you know negativity out there everywhere you look it's just just negative all the time and i'm just just trying to just trying to be that positive light as much as possible you know i mean i'm not perfect either but uh maybe this will you know we'll, we'll figure out a way to make this world a better place fact number two she almost retired rose shocked the world when she became the first person to defeat joanna yadrejic she beat her again but was later dethroned by brazil's jessica andrade she then contemplated retirement after losing her world title to Andrade. She even turned down a fight with China's rising star, Zhang Weili, who had taken the strawweight crown off Andrade and battered Joanna. Rose would successfully make her comeback by defeating Andrade in a three-round rematch and then brutally knocking out Weili in about a minute to reclaim her title. Number 2. Her environmental efforts There is little doubt that Mother Nature is in danger and there are a plethora of issues bothering her. Rose, who likes to live a hippie lifestyle, is well known for her concern for it. Nama Hunes has always used her platform as an acclaimed fighter to raise awareness for the Earth. Nama Hunes is a dedicated advocate for Earth ships, which are a type of passive solar Earth shelter made out of both natural and upcycled materials, such as Earth-packed tires. Rose has promoted their benefits as affordable and energy-efficient housing and has even traveled to Indonesia to help build them. Her love for urban farming also stems from poor farming practices being practiced by larger companies, which destroy the ecosystems that they take place on. This is why once she earns enough money from her UFC career, Rose plans to establish urban gardens to allow city dwellers to grow their own food. She also supports organic edible food gardens to be planted in schools to teach kids about farming. The jungle. Number 1. Her spending. Rose has a net worth of more than $1.5 million. Her most recent payout was of $300 plus thousand dollars, 100,000 more than her fight prior to it. But you won't see her wear designer clothing, drive luxury cars, or eat steaks embroidered in gold. Nama Hunes doesn't live a materialistic or glamorous life and just focuses on training and tranquility. So, 
How does she spend this money? By traveling, of course. Nama Yunez regularly visits Lithuania and even communicates with her family in the Lithuanian language. She has vacationed and taken trips around Hawaii, Indonesia, and other tourist hotspots. She likes to check out the scenery in her state of Colorado as well. She doesn't own any flashy cars, but she, along with her fiancé Pat, do like to rent out RVs. This gives them an edge while traveling and taking road trips around the states. The couple loves taking hiking trips to enjoy the views and train at high elevations. Rose and Pat also enjoy hanging around forests and other landscapes. Rose, inside and outside the octagon, like to keep it simple and keep it real. Doing something with nature. Ever since I was a little girl. And, um, you know, it's just good. Like, that's what I'm working towards, so... Sometimes when I'm working, 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 I forget what the end goal is. So it's good every once in a while to just get that reset, even if it's just like temporarily or just out here for a vacation, you know. But eventually, I want to turn my vacation into my lifestyle and not just vacation. So, this was an outlook on the lifestyle of thug Rose Nama Yunez. Rose has been one of the UFC's biggest stars ever since she defeated Joanna Yedrejic. Joanna, who seemed unbeatable up until that point, tried her best to break Rose's spirit with a barrage of hard-hitting insults. Yet, Rose's win, along with her calm demeanor and steadfastness, turned her into a fan favorite. Rose has gone through a tough life, yet she has translated all of her troubles into becoming one of the greatest women's fighters a prize as she embodies someone that is pure hearted and likes to live in peace without drama. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't for more videos like these. See you around! But anyway, hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys have a good day and stay in your prayer and keep going.